For the Phipps family of Annapolis, Maryland, lacrosse is in the blood. Louis Phipps, an All-American for the Terps in 1949. His son Wilson, a member of Maryland's last national championship team in 1975. So it should come as no surprise that Wilson's two sons, Michael and Brian, found themselves surrounded by the game at an early age. In the backyard, we would play all the time. Brian was the youngest, so he was kind of like the, the guy who was putting the goal at the time. And they, we played with a tennis ball because their mother wouldn't let him play with a lacrosse ball. Michael was the shooter and Brian was the goalie. I remember growing up, my dad used to take me to all the Maryland games. Me and my brother used to come to all the games and he would just tell us about it and how he played here. It was just kind of like an aura about Maryland lacrosse that was just around our family and it's just kind of, you knew that if you were fortunate enough to play at the Division One level, Maryland was where you wanted to go. Coming to all the Final Fours here and when I was back at Bird Stadium, all the time I remember like asking the Maryland players for their sticks when I was younger and all that little fun stuff and I came to all the games last year and the year before with my brother so I got to know like what Maryland lacrosse is all about through that. Brian joined Michael on the Terrapin squad this year and has been thrust into the role of starting goalie. Now both brothers are continuing the family legacy at Maryland and playing on the same team for the first time. Didn't know what it was going to be like until it happened and then as soon as you know we're on the same team it's just really really cool and then he gets thrown into the starting position and I'm on attack you just kind of see him out there and it's just kind of something that's a lot of fun and you can't really describe it. It's just got to make the best of it the one year that we can. We kind of fell into the brother thing. We we're very fortunate that we had not only one brother, but two brothers here, and uh, uh, that are both good players. You know, if they weren't good players, they wouldn't be brothers at University of Maryland. I do believe when you grow up in a family that roots for a certain school, there's a there's a tie to that school. You, the kids, when they go to sleep, they imagine wearing red and black. So I just think it's something that, you know, was passed from, you know, from a father to a son. And we're very fortunate that we've kept some of the sons at the University of Maryland.